Today we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a very important day in Christianity because God sent His only beloved Son to come to this earth and die for our sins, to become an ultimate sacrifice for us. And during these uncertain times, we're not sure what's going to happen tomorrow, but our hope is in Him, in Him who said on the cross, it is finished. He got ultimate victory over sin and death. And as one of my favorite preachers, Billy Graham said, Habakkuk said, Lord, please tell me what you're doing. And God said, no, I'm not going to tell you, Habakkuk, because if I told you what I was doing, you wouldn't believe me. If God today told us what he's doing in the world, we wouldn't believe it. Don't you think God's given up and God's abdicated and God's left the throne? He hasn't. He's still on the throne. And those of us that know him put our trust in him and him alone. I don't put my trust in Washington. I don't put my trust in the United Nations. I don't put my trust in myself. I don't put trust in my money. I put my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. When all the rest of it fails and crumbles and shatters, he'll be there. I think it's very well said. I don't know if you can add anything to it. A lot of you have been asking if we're safe and how we're dealing with this pandemic. Yes, we are safe and we moved to a different location. My first assignment is over and as of yesterday, I still have a job because <laughs> apparently, well, this is just my experience in a hospital where I was working. I got called off four times in a single week. Once this whole thing started, we started ruling people out. Uh, which never ever happens in Florida because they still have to pay you even though they call you off. So a lot of nurses been called off and a lot of nurses I know their assignments got canceled uh, which is kind of crazy so not everything the media is telling you is absolutely true. But anyway we don't want to start any kind of hot topic. I know there's probably going to be some comments but do your own research. We still had some footage that we recorded earlier so this is before the spit zone or the droplet <laughs> precaution became social distancing. Anyway, there wasn't a thing back then, so we went to the beach and had a lot of fun, so we're going to share that. But afterwards, once they start closing the beaches, that's where we start feeling like, okay, this is not cool. We're in Florida, we want to go to the beach. We have some exciting news that we would like to share with you that would be at the very end of the video. Today is another gorgeous day meeting up with some friends and we're going to the beach. We're going to Siesta Key Beach, which is really, uh, which is near Sarasota, Florida. It's probably one of the most popular beaches around here. Uh, very commercialized, very busy. We used to vacation here for like 10 years in a row. Uh, so we really like the place, but since then we kind of expanded our horizons a little bit. But it's still really neat. The sand is really white and fine and the water is really shallow, it kind of doesn't get deep right away so it's real kid friendly. There's not much going on at the actual beach but the Siesta Key Village is kind of cute. There's shops and restaurants and stuff like that. So we're gonna go check it out. It's not very windy, it should be warm. Got all of our gear. Very excited. During the winter months, Siesta Key is real crazy. The closer you get to actual Siesta Key Drive, it's it's impossible to get in. I'll show you the traffic. But anyway, our friends are already there and apparently parking is impossible. And that's been our experience last year also. Like during the winter, it's just really hard to park. During the summer, it's probably a little easier, but it's really hot in the summer. So one of my coworkers shared a tip that they park at the church that's real close to public beach and they have a donation box so you could just like drop a couple dollars there and you could park and walk to the beach so we're gonna try that today and we'll let you know how it works so if you're in the area maybe you can try that
this church is located almost directly across the street from the fire station that's near Siesta Beach. During normal business hours, they have an office open and you can go and drop your donation there. Suggested donation is $10 and they will give you a parking pass. If you come in after hours where the office is closed, there is a donation box outside where you could just drop your money in. And there was plenty of parking there. It's about a five minute walk from the church to the beach. They've really done a lot of remodeling here in the last couple of years and this parking is at least twice as big as it used to be. But still it's so packed. It's just this beach is very very popular. cold it's high 70s today don't know about the water it feels a little cold when you first get in but it's gorgeous I have to put a shirt on because I think I'm gonna burn soon just totally bumming on the beach today no agenda boys are digging in the sand they were building Fort Jefferson according to them <laughs> it was a fun little hole that you could just jump in and kind of get sucked in in the sand the sand quality is really cool. It's really fine powder sand. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. And it's but very crowded. Super crowded. I don't think I ever been to this beach when it was this crowded. We've been to this beach many, many, many times and it's never been like that. I, but I don't think we ever been on a true winter day, which is season right now. This sand is the best for like making castles and all kinds of sculptures and stuff because it really sticks together real fine. It's like fine cement for sure. Right, and there is no shelves, like almost none. It's like playing in flower. And it doesn't get hot at all, it's barely warm.
If I would have told you a month ago that you won't be able to go to the beach, you wouldn't believe me. I wouldn't believe you either if you would have told me that. But anyway, even though they closed the beaches in Florida, if you have a boat or a kayak, you still could be out on the water. You're just not allowed to be on any public beach. We went out with our friends on a boat just to be out on the water and enjoy the nature. We are still in Florida and even though there is this craziness going on with coronavirus, life didn't really feel too different until they closed the beach and the pool. <laughs> It's sun is still shining, the weather is gorgeous, we're in RV park and having lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so today, thanks to Ray and Karen, we went out on a boat because we're not officially in lockdown. Florida is going in lockdown tonight at midnight. So if you have a boat, you could still go out and be on the water. That's probably the only way. <laughs> But yeah, so we went out on the water today and cruised around and seen some dolphins and... Also, I'm not sure if we mentioned this to you yet. I don't think so. But thanks to Ray and Karen, we have a new home. <laughs> the one right behind us. What do you think? <laughs> I think we'll make another video about that. And this was not planned at all. It just kind of fell into our lap, but we're very happy. So, Ray and Karen, Thank you again. <laughs> you changed our life forever, I guess. <laughs> 
So my assignment here where we were staying is officially over and we're going to a different location. We're still going to stay in Florida. We're going to go to Pensacola. But two days from now when we're moving, we're going to be in lockdown. So we'll see how it goes. See if we get pulled over or anything like that. I have a permission to travel. But he doesn't have his plates. So I am <laughs> essential. But I don't have plates for my trailer. I called BMV today and they said, you can't get it. So just have your papers with you and see what happens. <laughs> Different times, I suppose. Mm -hmm.